Hi, welcome to Robojax. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use the capacitive touch TTP223B, sometimes it's called BA6. So we can turn on and off an AC load or DC load. Let's say this is an AC load like this using a, a one channel relay. So we are going to use the touch with the relay and also with the Arduino to turn this on and, and off. This can be turned on and off with these two without an Arduino and also we will show you how you can use the Arduino to control let's say the amount of time when you touch this, this will go on for three seconds, five seconds, whatever amount of time you want or how long it should stay off before turning on and many other things that you can do. So let's get started. <coughs> So this is an AC bulb that can be connected to the power line and then uh, we will control this through the uh, relay. So let me show you here. So this is the bulb and this is the power that we connected to the 110 volts and your area it might be 220 or 240. So here this wire that goes uh, from here to here I've just cut it and then twisted it put some solder so it can be inserted into the relay and here is the relay that we are going to connect this into the relay uh, connector so let me connect this to the relay so one of the wires must be connected at the middle so if you connect something between this this line and NC normally connected so this is common and this is normally connected so without any power or anything this the wire between these two will be connected and will be on. So we are connecting this in, to the relay, so the relay will make them connected, so the light will go on and then disconnect it. So if you put it in these two, when the relay is off, they will normally connect it. But then if you put it between these two, it's normally open. So let's just put this here. Of course, this is not connected now. Let me explain the capacitive touch. We have three wires. This is signal where when you touch this pin will uh, show the voltage and then we have at the middle which is VCC. You can connect it up to 5 volts, 2.2 up to 5.5 volts and this is ground. So the ground or zero is here and then you connect the 5 volts here. So and then this is a signal that goes to Arduino or relay. This is now the relay relay has three pins here. The pin on the left side is uh, the five volts, and then this is the ground. And this is the control signal where comes the signal comes to the relay to control. So when this uh, goes uh, low, the relay will be connected. These two pins will be connected. When it's high or it has five volts, then this will be connected. So I have five volts here coming from my source, wherever you can get it. You can get it from USB, you can get it from Arduino. So this plus is five volts. And then we have five volts here at the breadboard and another five volts. So I've connected these two pin, five volts, to the touch, capacitive touch, so that now this will have five volts. When I connect my power, the power is off now. And then I've connected five volts to the uh, relay. So the left one is the five volts, it's connected here and then the black one. So now this pin, which is the signal input for the relay, I will connect it directly to the capacitive touch module. So now this is connected. And now I'm connecting the power. So now you see the light is there. You see, this goes on and off with a touch. And to make sure that, so this has a plate on this side or at that side. If you have a different type of relay that, now there is power so I have to be careful. If you have a different type of relay that the 
activity of the light is the opposite of what you expect keep the middle wire never change it keep always the middle wire and then move that one from here to there so let me disconnect it from power and switch it and see how it works okay now i've switched the wires so the middle is there i move this from there to here so now let me see so now as you can see the bulb is on and it will go off when i touch it so one thing to mention i have a small uh, 10 microfarad capacitor here because if the voltage comes here and it has some noise this capacitor you can get it from any electronic store or scrap boards so 10 microfarad just make sure that put it on the line so i'm putting the positive to the positive negative to the negative so if this board behaves unnormal so just put this one so this works as you can see without any arduino so we have just a power and that's it so without arduino now i'm going to connect the arduino with it so when you touch this uh, let's say you want to keep the light for three seconds or four seconds on and then it goes off so now what i would do is i will just this right pen of this which is the input is connected to the signal i'm just disconnecting it so this will go to pin 2 of uh, Arduino board. So this is the Arduino board. So I'm going to put this into pin 2. So when you touch it, the pin 2 will be an input. So it will be red. And then the relay, I'm going to connect it to pin 10. Pin 10 will be output, will be connected to relay. The text, the text is started from here. I have put a new variable LD loop delay. So I put it 200 milliseconds. This is the amount of time that it goes and reads the touch. So 200 milliseconds uh, is one fifth of 1000 milliseconds, which is a second. So it reads five times a second. So if you want to change this, it will be a little faster. So and then for printing text on the screen, I put it at 9600 9, 9, baud. And then we define here pin mode, pin 10 as an output, and then pin 2 as an input. And then this prints the text. So inside the setup, we have nothing else except this. And then we have loop. Inside the loop, we have very simple digital read. It reads pin 2. So this means go and read pin 2. And if the re pin 2 exists and there is an input, so print this button touched and also set the pin 10 to low. So to turn on the LED, to turn the LED or something, and then wait this many seconds. So this is 200 milliseconds. If not, then make the pen 10 high. So it just goes continuously like that. Everything is the same as before I showed you, except these two pen. This is now connected to the pen 2 here. And then the input of the array uh, relay is connected to the pin 10 everything else is the same so 5 volt goes there everything so now the relay is connected between common and then normally open so you can play with this see which side works best for you so now this is a relay also pay attention here on the screen this code here So as long as I'm holding, that is 200 milliseconds. So the touch will work. So now let's say you want to keep the light for three seconds on. Just change this LD here. Or you can do it uh, above. So I'm just going to make it 300, 3000 milliseconds, which is three seconds. So upload the text. So the code is now uploaded, so when I touch this, the light is on, remove my hand, it goes for 3 seconds, and on. But if I hold my hand, it will be always on, because it just goes and repeat and repeat the loop. But from the time that I remove my hand, it will take 3 seconds for the light to go off. 
so you can play with this and arrange it whichever way you like. So that was a brief introduction of, of the using touch with relay and AC load. You can do also the same thing with the DC load. Thank you for watching. Please thumb up the video and also please subscribe to get informed of my upcoming videos. Take care.